Welcome back. Yeah, I trimmed it up. Uh, already growing it back, but a um, little bit of a different look. Um, currently sitting, I know I've told you guys about the worst thing you can hear uh, from a receiver is the tank is full. I have been told that, and I've been told I'm going to be sitting here for uh, a little while. So thought I would do a video, and uh, this is a video that I have... I've been thinking about doing for quite some time. Somebody requested that I do it, so let's let's go on and get it done. Um, Prime is moving with all the 2017 model uh, tractors that they order to all automatics, um, automated manuals. Um, they are going with the DT12 automatic uh, automated manual transmission. Um, there's a little bit of a problem with the PTO that we use uh, here in the tanker division. So they are actually uh, outfitting Freightliners with the uh, Eaton Fuller Auto Shift, or Ultra Shift, I believe is the uh, the brand name on that one. Um, I don't know what the problem is and why it's, it's different. Um, basically, what the DT12 transmission is, is it's a add-on part to the regular transmission, the regular standard 10-speed that, that we have. I have a 10-speed, I have a 2016 International, um, but it does have the Eaton Fuller 10-speed transmission. And um, there's been a lot of questions and concerns um, in the tanker division about surge. And, you know, I, if you've watched my surge video, I, I've talked about how you have to shift along with the surge. And one of the reasons that I've held off on doing this video is I think that there's a lot of fear of the unknown. And I... <sighs> I kind of view it as I don't really want to make comments until I know. Um, let's go over the fact that, first of all, transmissions, automatic transmissions have come a long way. Let, let's go over the fact that manual transmissions have come a long way. You know, you can watch videos uh, still online right now of guys with the, with the two-stick, three-stick stick transmissions from years ago that have been replaced now with um, 10 speed, 13 speed, 18 speed transmissions, um, and the technology has improved to the point where these are very, very reliable. Um, early automated manual or automatic transmissions and semis had some problems. Prime has made the decision to go to automated manuals, um, and the early reports are that the guys are happy with them. Um, my understanding is there is a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, you take the stick shift off the floor, you add a uh, another uh, stick on the column that it can run in manual mode, and you can shift gears manually on the column, but you can also set it in uh, automatic mode or, or whatever you want to term it. And a lot of the questions come about how do you go down hills, how do you climb hills, and uh, Prime will tell you still that these things do exactly what they're supposed to do. If you set it at 65 and you want to go down the hill at 65, it's supposed to go at 65 in combination with the Jake brake, um, and it will pull up a hill at the appropriate speed as well, or, or a mountain. Uh, I, I do think that there's a lot of fear of the unknown. I also... Um, ride motorcycles and I, I find it similar there where there are aftermarket recluse um, automatic transmission that's available uh, as an add-on for motorcycles if, if you do those if you're familiar with that um, I think there's a little bit of a fear of unknown and I think there's also a, a bit of um, machoism in it uh, you have to drive, you know, this is the way it's always been. Well, it, first of all, it's not the way it's always been. My grandfather, if you go back to the who, what, and why, who I am 
what I'm trying to do, why I make these videos, I, I talk about the fact my grandfather drove truck. Um, and he drove truck after World War II. So late 40s, into the 50s, 60s, and he drove all the way up through the 70s and into the uh, early 80s. Truck driving now is nothing like what it was like in the 40s. Nothing at all. Um, so the machoism of, well, if you're not driving a stick shift, well, you know what? We've got air-conditioned cabs. We've got air-ride seats. We've got a modern 10-speed transmission. It's nothing like what it was like in the 40s. Is it what it's going to be like now in 50 years? Tesla is manufacturing um, as well as... Um, there's another company, and the name's escaping me off the top of my head. But there's a couple. Nikola uh, is working on. There's a company called Nikola, and there's a company called Tesla, which is kind of odd because one of the guys who uh, was instrumental in early electronic uh, work was Nikola Tesla. But there, there's two different companies that are working on electronic semi trucks. Tesla, of course, has the Model S um, car that's available now, and they're working on an electronic semi. Nikola is working on an electronic semi. That's going to be revolutionary in the next several years. Um, you know, I don't know how long those are going to take to come out. Of course, autonomous driving, that's a big story with Google self-driving car. And um, I know there's a couple companies that are working on aftermarket self-driving kits. So I, I know I've gone a little bit further than, than talking about automatic transmissions. But a lot of the fear comes from the unknown. I'm used to doing it this way. This is the way it's always... Well, first of all, it's not the way it's always been done. There will always be innovation. The question from a tanker side, and to bring it back to my point, I do understand the fear because driving a tanker is different than driving a drive-in. When the load doesn't move around, it's, it's a much easier vehicle to drive. Um, I, I did have an opportunity to talk and somebody had um, asked a question in the comments a couple of weeks ago about dry bulk. Um, just had a, a guy here at this particular location that had was delivering flour, spoke about a week ago with a flour driver uh, as well with Bulkmatic. This was Star of the, Star of the West well, was the flour driver here, but I've spoken with a couple of flour drivers recently. Um, and the load will shift a little bit at first, but then it kind of settles in. Um, so it's much different, and they both acknowledge it's, it's much different than what we do. And I think that's the, the real fear, is that this is a very unique tanker driving, especially food-grade tanker driving without baffles, is such a unique way of driving, unique way of having to shift the vehicle. Um, how does how do the automatic automatic or automated manual transmissions how do they handle that difference there are a handful of 2017 model trucks already in the prime tanker fleet it's a gradual process basically prime keeps all of their trucks in service for about three to four years that's one of the things that i, I like about prime always have new equipment 2014 trucks are about the oldest trucks you're going to see um, at prime and pretty soon those will start to be retired uh, you very very rarely see anything that's a 2013 anymore there are a very few of those remaining in the fleet you, you don't see as many 2014s anymore those you'll start to see disappear as we start to see the 2017s come in because my lease ends in 2019 um so I picked this up in 2015, it goes through 2019. Over the next several years, if every truck that gets introduced is an automated manual, eventually within three or four years, the entire fleet will be turned over to an automated manual. Obviously, I'm, I'm happy about the fact that um, I got my truck at the tail end of the, auto, uh, of the manual phase. And Prime's gonna, I think that's kind of how I look at it is, Prime's going to know what they're doing. They're going to have three years of experience, four years of experience with these automated manuals and automated manuals in the tanker division before I have to worry about getting my next truck. So 
those are my thoughts. I think there's a bit of a fear of an unknown. I'm glad that I'm not in the initial group of 2017 trucks. And I'm just kind of taking wait and see attitude. Will they be successful? Will they be problematic? We'll have to wait and see. Um, uh, like I said, I'm just glad that I don't have to be one of the guinea pigs uh, right off the bat that had to grab one of these 2017 trucks. Thanks for watching this week. That's my thought on Prime moving over to all 2017 uh, automated manual transmission trucks. And again, that is the plan for them going forward. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again next week. Have a good one.